dear students i welcome you all to the online classes for standard 6 and 7 the first chapter that i have selected for you is integers which is but of course not new for the 7th graders but it's a new concept for the 6th graders so i thought of making a common video so that there will be a revision for the 7th class grade for the 7th students and the 6th class students may be introduced to this new topic so let us we not waste more time and begin the topic so basically a word integers is composed of three types of numbers they are the positive numbers zero and the negative numbers you till standard fifth you have been acquainted with the positive numbers very well that means the numbers which are greater than zero are considered to be positive the numbers which are less than zero are considered to be negative so integers is a combination or a set which consists of numbers that are negative that means less than 0 positive greater than 0 including 0 in the group so basically integers is a set of number consisting of the positive the negative and the number 0 so 0 is neither positive nor negative now let us consider some common numbers like uh, let's take an example 23 and 56 and if you are asked to compare within between these two numbers you you know that 23 is less than 56 now suppose if i write 99 and 70 obviously you know that 99 is greater than 70 so this is the comparison that we have made but for integers let me tell you as you know one is the smallest among all the positive numbers one is greater than zero and one is the smallest among all the positive numbers as we see in the right hand side as we move towards the right hand side we can see that this has been arranged in the ascending order that means 2 is greater than 1 3 is greater than 2 4 is greater than 3 the same thing happens to the left hand side but here the numbers are preceded by a minus sign the first number on the left after 0 is minus 1 and let me tell you minus 1 is the greatest negative integer 1 is the smallest positive integer but minus 1 is the greatest negative integer so if you get a number like suppose if i replace these two numbers with a minus sign now they are negative integers so we can say that minus 99 will be now less than minus 71 since minus 71 will definitely come first in this so we can say that towards the right of zero the numbers are arranged in the increasing order and towards the left of zero the numbers are arranged in the decreasing order so let us take and let us consider some of the ways by which we can add subtract multiply and divide integers so i have made uh, certain rules for you uh, which will make you more clear with the concept the rules for addition as well as subtraction normally the first rule says that if you have two positive integers simply add them. simply add them this you have been doing since standard 1 uh, maybe yes because simply if i give you a number like 5 plus 7 you know the answer is 12 very clearly you know that it's 5 plus 7 is 12 as you can see here 5 is a positive number 7 is a positive number and you know how to add these positive numbers remember one more thing that integers the negative numbers are always represented by a minus sign Yeah. 
So 5 plus 7 is simply 12. So if the, there are two positive integers and you are asked to add them, simply add them as it is. The second rule is if 1 integer is positive and the other is negative. This is somewhat new for the sixth graders, right? Let's see, it's very simple, as simple as that. What is the, what technique would, be, uh, would you be using here? The solution for this is subtract and give the sign of the greater number. Let me explain it. Suppose you have got a, got a number like minus 11 plus 5. So what are we basically going to do here? Minus 11 plus 5. So as you can see here, 11 is preceded by a minus sign and 5 is preceded by a plus sign. That means 11 is a negative integer and 5 is a positive integer. So in that case, you are asked to subtract. Obviously, you cannot subtract uh, 11 from 5. So what you need to do? You have to subtract 11 minus 5. The answer will be 6. And without the sign, we know that which is the greater number? Greater number 11 or 5? 11 is greater than 5. So it is, it is carrying what sign? Minus sign. So you will write in here minus 6. Let me, let me solve some more examples like uh, 21 minus 30. Okay. So as you can see here, there is no sign preceding 21. So that means it is a positive integer. So one integer is positive, the other is negative. That means you have to subtract first. So obviously you can subtract 30 minus 21, not 21 minus 30. So 30 minus 21 will give you how much? 9. And which among the two is greater? 21 or 30? Obviously 30 is greater. So the answer will be minus 9. So when you'll be gradually doing the numbers, different types of numbers, you'll be becoming more clear with the concept. The third one. If all the integers are negative, add them and give minus Sign. This is one more, a new rule for the six graders, right? So it is like uh, like this. Suppose you have a minus nine, minus one, minus three, minus four is equal to how much? So as you can see here, nine is a negative integer, one is a negative integer, three is a negative integer, four is a negative integer. So if all the integers are negative, simply add them, simply add them. That is 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 plus 4 is 17. So we got here 17 and then simply you have to give a minus sign to the answer. So once again, let us take a revision for all these. <coughs> the rules for additions. Simply, uh, the, the, the first rule says that if both the integers are positive, simply add them as you have been adding it till now. The second one is if you have a negative and a positive integer, positive and a negative integer, then you need to subtract the integer, like, like 11 minus 5 is possible, 30 minus 21 is possible. So you subtracted it and then which sign are you going to give out of minus and plus? Definitely the, well, the number which is greater. So out of 11 and 5, 11 is greater, so 11 is carrying minus sign, so the answer has minus 6. And in the second case, you can see 21 minus 30, obviously 30 minus 21 is 9, and the sign carried by the greater number 30 is minus. And the last rule is as simple, if you have all the integers negative, then simply you need to add all the integers and give a minus sign. So I hope you all are getting clear. So you need to 
be clear with these rules before solving the numbers. Now, I will also explain you beforehand the rule of the sign, the rule of sign. That means it's a sign rule, I call it. Sign rule. What is the sign rule? Sign rule is plus multiplied to plus will give you a plus. Minus multiplied to minus will give you a plus. Plus multiplied to minus will give you minus. Minus multiplied to plus will give you minus. This is basically what? The commutative property. You know that the order of the numbers doesn't interfere. So what you have to learn is the sign rule which will be very helpful and you should be clear with this rule. This rule will be followed during the multiplication as well as by opening the brackets. I will tell you that giving some more examples. But right now learn by heart one thing that if you have two similar signs, if you have two similar signs the answer will always be positive and if you have two opposite signs the answer will be always negative. Okay? So like, uh, so now let us come to some examples for addition. So where, you, how are you going to apply this sign rule? Okay. Suppose you have got a number like number one, twenty minus minus five plus minus. So this is your question. You are asked to add, add or subtract whatever. You are asked to solve this number. So the first thing, the first number that is in the uh, in this question is 20. So simply write 20. Then you have a minus sign followed by a bracket, a common bracket, and then a minus sign inside. So in order to open the bracket, you have to follow this sign rule. So now you have minus multiplied to minus. As you can see here, minus multiplied to minus will give you a plus. So I'll multiply these two and I wrote here plus. Then five. Now again I have two signs here, plus multiplied to minus, you know that plus multiplied to minus will definitely give you a minus sign. Now simply as you can solve it, 20 plus 5, the first addition, the bottom of is always very important, never forget it. Always we need to remember the bottom of rule. So first go for the addition, here you have two positive numbers, two positive numbers you are having. 20 plus 5 is 25, minus 3. That is equal to 22. So this is your answer. So this way you are going to solve the questions by applying the sign rule if you, if you come across brackets. Right? Let me come to the second example. Suppose you got a number like minus 50, plus 90, minus 30, minus 20. Okay. Now how are you going to, going to solve this? So what I feel is that first arrange the numbers which are given to you according to the sign. That helps a lot. Like suppose now, the first number that I have here is minus 50. So I will, I will be simply writing here minus 50. The second number is positive. So I will go to the next negative number. The next negative number is minus 30. So I will be writing here minus 30. Then I have minus 20. So what I have done here is I have arranged all the negative numbers together. And the positive number will be put at last. Now this will really help me solving the number as you can see. So now go back to the rules for addition and subtraction that I explained you. Right? I'll explain you the rules for addition and subtraction. So we'll go back to the rule. If all the integers, I can see these three integers are carrying minus sign, minus sign, minus sign. So rule number three, go back to the rule number three, it says that if all the integers are negative, then add, add them and just simply give a minus sign. So I am simply going to add them, 50 plus 30 is 80, 80 plus 20 is 100 and give a minus sign. 
I have already solved this part. The remaining part is plus 90. I will be writing it down. And now, let me come to the rule number 2. Go back to the rule number 2 that says, if one is negative and the other one is positive, you need to subtract and give the sign of the greater number. So obviously we cannot subtract 100 from 90. So we can subtract 100, 90, uh, we can subtract 90 from 100, right? So 100 minus 90 will give me 10, obviously. And which among the two is greater? Obviously 100 is greater, so I will put in a minus sign. So that way you are going to apply the rule of integers for solving, uh, for adding, for subtracting, for multiplying, for dividing. This is a different rule. So I hope you are able to understand uh, the different ways by which you can add and subtract various integers. Now, of course the 7th graders are very much clear about this concept but still if some of you are not clear you can go through this and those who are clear can follow the next video. Now, let me write another question for you. Plus uh, 30 minus 40 plus 60. Okay, let me just change it. Plus 70. And you are asked to solve this question. So what are you going to do here? First thing I told you, arrange according to the sign. So I have minus 60 first. So I will write minus 60. I will search for the, I will look for the next integer which is negative. So it is minus 40. So I'll be writing minus 40 here, then plus 30, then plus 70. Now I have arranged the negative numbers together and the positive numbers together. After this, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll follow the rule of rule of for addition and subtraction. That is what you know that if the two integers are negative, then you are asked to add. So 60 plus 40 will give me 100 present by a minus sign. Both are positive. So 30 plus 70 will give me a 100. Isn't it? Now one number is minus and the other one is plus. That means one is negative and the other one is positive. So I will be subtracting. 100 minus 100 will give me how much? Zero. Or simply you can also cancel. Remember it. You know that very well. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0, 9 minus 9 is equal to 0, 100 minus 100 is equal to 0. This is same as plus 5 minus 5, plus 9 minus 9, plus 100 minus 100. That will always give you a 0. Okay. I hope students you are able to understand. And if still you have doubts, you can contact me in the WhatsApp number. So now, so students, it is enough for today. So do remember whatever I explained you, that means the three rules for addition and subtraction and the sign rule. Do remember all these things and keep on practicing and wait for the next video where I, where I will be teaching you the multiplication, division and the subtraction of various numbers and you will be solving various numbers. Till then, bye.